okay so till where we have reached sir 1.4 rupees sir yes in 1.4 ha ha sir do ko concept chala gaya hai na what pardon dual ka concept chala gaya hai ha ha dual concept is eliminated okay so it will not going to ask in your Or 1.5 is also eliminated. Okay, it will not go into yes. The entire exercise has been eliminated, so it's not going to ask in your examination. Okay, so we are actually currently at the very last exercise, which is exercise 1.4. Okay, so I do remember that we yes. were doing this first question, and I do not remember how many question we have done yesterday. So can anybody tell me how many questions we have done yesterday from first four. question four and four I second hope, third uh, you all guys remember how to do this will you guys not able to do yeah, any question out of these no sir out of these eight questions will you able to do it Or you want me to solve one more for you, guys? One more, but I will solve. Okay. So, for example, let me choose the six for six one question. Okay. Sir. Yes. Yes, sir. What happened? Hey, I'm sorry. What happened? No, sir, nothing. What? Which one, sir? Hmm. So, in the in the very sixth question, how we are going to solve it? First, let me write the question for you guys. P and Q, or P or negation Q. Okay. So, what is the first step in this in this kind of a question when you have to write the negation? Your first step would be just put a square bracket around. Okay, what we have to do is just put a square bracket around your entire question. You are getting now? Yes, sir. Oh, and just put negation sign out of the square bracket. Now put this square, uh, put this negation, or just uh, put this negation inside your question and see what changes will occur. Okay, for example, the negation will be appear on this entire statement and this entire statement, and the middle sign will get changed, right? So let me just go through this entire. This, uh, let me just go through this negation sign inside this square bracket. So what will happen? The negation sign will appear on this part, or I can directly say negation negation will get cancelled, right? Negation negation will get cancelled, right? Now. Yes. So don't write. and the middle sign will change so it will become conjunction p sir chat disable what chat disable chat disable hmm oh uh, i think i did that no i didn't do that any of you i did that but what do you want to say you can directly say na yes sir hmm Okay, so in the uh, now the next step, the next step would be we'll put this negation inside this bracket. So what will happen? Can you tell me? When the negation goes inside, what happens? The negation will apply on the P, and the negation will apply on the negation Q, which becomes Q, and the middle sign will get changed. So this is going to be your final answer. Everybody understood? Yes, sir. Hmm. So just take the screenshot of this. Yes, sir. Very good. <clears throat> okay, very good. So, as you can see in your textbook, I hope you all remember about the laws. Remember, I was uh, talking about the laws in this section. These are some laws. Distributive and demoralizing. And I said. 
you don't you don't have to remember all the laws just either two or three laws is sufficient okay so that's why i'm telling you just uh, you don't need to look at this uh, table anymore because as the laws come in our way we will study them step by step okay for example in this question there is only one law come into the picture so we will understand only that law okay so let me just take down this entire question <clears throat> okay so here it is so in the very first question it says if a man is a judge then he is honest okay what it says if a man is a judge then he is honest so can you tell me how you can write the symbolic form of this when your statement contain if and then then you have to use this arrow sign when your statement contain if and then then you have to use which symbol the arrow symbol the implies symbol are you all getting it yes sir hmm. only one person is replying what about the others yes, yes. sir samajh raha hai oh so just say na so the man is a judge will become p he is honest will become q and if then will get replaced by implies so what will be your symbolic form p implies q till here you get it sir p kya hai q kya hai are i just told you na let me show you again wait wait just look at here if a man is a judge please remove this annotation whoever did this please remove this annotation okay so if a man is a judge then he is honest so if a man is a judge then he is on okay so it says rewrite the following statement without using if then so what you have to do you can you have to write this statement the entire statement again but this time you have to eliminate if and then from this statement okay and one more thing it shouldn't be changed grammatically as it says so how we can do this so first we will convert this statement in our symbolic form what we have to do first convert this entire statement into symbolic form so i said a man is a judge will become p he is honest will become q and this then this then means a single arrow got it whenever your statement contain if then then you have to put a this symbol imply symbol so your symbolic form will look like this p implies p u got it yes okay so till here i hope you got it but what it says it says that we rewrite the statement without using if then so we have to change this statement so we are going to apply some like apply one law and what is that law so remember this formula so again the formula says <clears throat> whenever there is a p implies q so again whenever there is a p implies q negation p or q so instead of this you can write this are you all guys getting it can you guys remember this formula so again what i am going to do here so i will apply this formula so instead of this i can directly say negation p or q now you guys tell me if i convert this symbolic form into a english statement how i am going to write the statement can you guys tell me sir negation p not a judge so a man is not a judge i will write like this a man is not not a judge. a judge 
ओके और से के ही इज ऑनेस्ट सो इवन इफ इट डजेंट मेक सेंस बट योर आंसर विल ऑलवेज बी राइट ओके इफ यू फॉलो दिस स्टेप सो Uh, I don't know from where I get this noise. I thought somebody has put up their mic on. Okay, so I hope you all get the answer. How you have to do it? Everybody got the answer. How to do it? Yes, sir. Okay. So, do you want me to repeat the second third also, or you guys can do it? Tell me. Tell me. Thing is. कर लेंगे कर लेंगे सर वापस बोलो ना क्या बोले मैं समझे Let me do it the second one. Okay, okay. Rest of the question you will do it. Okay. Third. Yes. <laughs> take the take the screenshot of this, please. Fast. Everybody took the screenshot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me write the second one for you, boy. So in the second question, look it very carefully here only. Let me increase the size of this. Okay, I hope the question is visible to you all. Right. Okay. So two is a rational rational number will become what p. Okay. Then become implies. Root two is irrational number will become q. Q. Got till here. Q. Yes, okay. sir. Got it. Yes, okay. Sir. Now the next step would be. Applying the law. So what we what does the what does the law says about this? Instead of implies, you can write negation p or q. Got it? Instead of this, you have to write negation p or q. And after this, convert this statement into the uh, convert this symbol into a statement. So how we write the statement? It is But, not a rational number. Okay, two is not a rational number. Rational number or root two is a rational number. Two is a irrational number. Two or root two is a rational number. Very good. So, okay, so take a screenshot of this. We are going to go ahead. Yes, sir. So everybody took the screenshot. Yes, sir. Sir. Okay, now let's move to the very very important question, which is question number three. Okay, so let me tell you one one thing, guys. If you miss this part, okay, so you will definitely gonna lose four marks of your this entire chapter. This entire chapter consists eight marks of your syllabus. So please do not miss this question. So be very concentrative. so how are we going to solve this question so in the very first question uh, we will not start from the first question first let me uh, solve the second question because the toughness level of the first is quite higher there apun kuch bhi statement le sakte hai na which statement you are talking about are p ke jagah kuch bhi le sakte hai q ke jagah pe kaun sa bhi statement le sakte hai na no you can't do Okay, okay. You can. You have to just put the same thing. For example, in the let me tell you in the second question. Say here, P or Q. I hope you all remember about the truth table. Okay. So what happened in the case of truth table? You have to prove this kind of a statement using the truth table pie. Okay. In the truth table type, remember. Yes, sir. but here in the question it says without using truth table you have to prove this without using truth table. So I am going to teach you in a very simple way. 
ठीक है सो फर्स्ट वी विल से लेट्स टेक एल एच एस लुक वेरी वेरी केयरफुल ओके पी और क्यू एंड पी और निगेशन ओके सो वट हैपन इन दिस केस ओके गाइज टेल मी वन थिंग P or is also available here and P or also available here. So this statement is common in both the bracket. Is it true or not? Yes. yes. So no. let's take this statement common. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll take this statement as common. So in inside of square bracket, what is the remaining part? This Q is remaining. This middle sign is remaining, and this negation Q is remaining. Right. So I'll put Q. and negation q till here everybody got it this yes sir okay is it simple till now what i did i just took out the uh, similar part out of the bracket okay now this is called this is called distributive law okay this is called distributive law okay now next part okay in the very next part this q and negation q wherever there is a two symbol so remember very carefully what i am saying whenever there is a two symbol of a same type one consists with negation okay so what you have to write how you will determine that you have to write either true or false so if there is a and sign when there is a conjunction sign you have to write the answer as false when there are two symbol one of a similar type one consists the negation type, one consists the negation and there is a and symbol or conjunction symbol you have to write false if there is a reverse like instead of the and you will get or then you have to write true are you all getting it what i am saying when there are yes, two sir. symbol of similar type okay and one consists negation and there is a conjunction symbol then directly write false got it okay sir this is called which law this is called identity law got it which law it is identity law now tell me one side is p or f so what happen in the case of or what happen in the case of or if there is a one statement which consists true then the entire statement will become true remember in the yes, case sir. of disjunction so here is false and here is p so who decide what what will be your output so p is going to decide p. so our answer will be p got it so don't you think we get what we wanted so lh is is proof to the rhs right now everybody got it or still confused yes okay so take the screenshot of this then hmm okay okay so we have done this now let us start with the third question third is quite similar of second one so p and q or negation p and q or p and negation q and what we have to prove we have to prove that the negation p p where एक मिनट नहीं 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 सर एवरीथिंग इज राइट राइट सो ओके सो हाउ यू गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस काइंड ऑफ अ क्वेश्चन सो आई सजेस्ट सिंपली फर्स्ट टेक टू ब्रैकेट एनी टू ब्रैकेट व्हिच यू फाउंड वेरी कॉमन विद समथिंग सो आई कैन से दिस कंजंक्शन क्यू इज हियर एंड द कंजंक्शन क्यू इज हियर आल्सो सो लेट्स टेक दीस टू ब्रैकेट फर्स्ट सो व्हाट आई मीन बाय द टेकिंग दीस टू ब्रैकेट्स कॉमन जस्ट पुट अ स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट अराउंड सो दैट वी वी आर सॉल्विंग दिस पार्ट फर्स्ट so how we are going to solve this part first okay so let me tell you if i take common this conjunction q and this conjunction q out of the box 
out of these things. So how the rest of the remaining things look like? So look at very carefully. P or negation P and Q. You got it. Everybody got it. What I did? Yes, sir. Hmm. Pakka na. What I just did? Uh, I just did this conjunction Q and the conjunction Q out of this bracket. So the remaining thing remain is like P or negation P. Okay. Uh, okay. So as I can see, are you sure are replying? match um, See, don't uh, don't say about cricket and all that. See, I am requesting you to please talk in English first, because we are instructed from both the sides. The teacher and the student both should uh, speak in English. So it's my request to you all guys. So let's continue from the, the very next part. Okay, so the next part is what? I, I just took the conjunction Q common. So can you guys tell me what happened here? As I said, one state, when there are two statements, uh, yes, very good. Who said three? Very good. Oh, very good. So I will put T here and Q. Or T and negation Q. Okay. So what law is this? This is called identity law. Okay, so what happened in the case of this uh, conjunction? Are we going to take output as P or are we going to take output as Q? What will be the output of here? Con conjunction, if any one statement is false, then the entire statement will be false, right? Sir? So the out answer of this will be depend upon the Q. So we will just write Q. Got it? Q. If there was a false statement, then we are taking, we will take false, we will be taking false. But since here it is true and there is a conjunction and there is a Q, so Q will decide what will be the output of this statement. Okay. So now the very next part. What we, are, what we can do here, can I put this two statement inside this bracket? It's like a multiply thing. So I can say now, say Q or P and Q or negation Q and this the conjunction sign will be in the middle okay so what will be the answer of this can anybody tell me what will be the answer of this q or e. negation q yes very good again one side you have a statement and the other side has a true and the middle sign is conjunction so what happened in the case of injunction What happened in the case of conjunction? False. If, uh, if any statement is false, then that entire statement will become false, right now. So the our statement output will depend upon this left side. So we will just write left side statement and ignore the T part, right now. So are we getting what we wanted? Can you see the RHS P or Q? So are we getting is this Q or P? Or I can simply write it as P or Q also, no? I can interchange the term, right? Everybody got it or not? Yes, sir. Hmm, pakka na, see, this is, uh, you can say in logic, this is one of the toughest part, the law part. Most of the time, students... Identity la la ho jayega, na? Hmm, what, pardon? Identity la la ke ho jayega, na? Hmm. Identity laga to ho jayega. In which part you said identity laga? Say so, identity law likha hai na idhar pe. Uh, see, for example, here I took common. Which part common? This and Q. So write it here as a distributive law. Okay. And what happened here? This Q is going inside in this bracket. So again, we have to write distributive law. Okay. Here you again, you what, what you did? You said true in this condition. So you will put identity law. 
each and every yes. statement you have to write and again see one one thing is very uh, one thing is very common here i am just using only two laws can you see that yes sir okay but in the table above in your textbook so many laws were there okay and if if you guys uh, have a digest or something in your notes so you must have seen that the solution has uses many laws in their solution yes so what i am trying to say no need to use all those laws just remember distributive law and identity law identity and your job law. is done right yes so all law is there which is going to be used in this first and the fourth question so first take the screenshot of this everybody took the screenshot of this yes sir hmm okay so before starting the first and the last one because the first and the last one is a little bit lengthy for you guys so i'm not going to start right now first let me tell you what will be the homework for the for you guys today so in exercise 1.4 the question number 1 and question number 2 you have to write in your notebook and don't forget to send me via whatsapp okay everybody send the photos remember yesterday i told you all did you all guys send everybody no, send their homework why homework done sir homework done but have you sent it to me sir forgot so oh, you shouldn't know sir 1.4 ka homework kya hai Hmm. As I said, in one point question number one and question number two, okay, and these two question you have to practice second and third. And one more thing, okay, if you want to score uh, in your board examination in a very high mark, especially in math, okay, so please don't avoid the solved example of a chapter. Okay, also perform the solved example because in board they may ask you from the solved example also. okay and you can one more uh, and one more thing can you guys see the third question here in this solved example everybody can see the third exa solved example of my textbook yes sir so can you guys see how many laws they have used many Or i only use distributive law and identity but they use commutative many. law complement law right so you guys decide yes d morgan and all okay of course you guys can use but all i'm saying is no need to remember every law just remember only two laws right and uh, about the exercise 1.2 i do uh, 1.3 i do remember that we have missed this question question number 4 yes sir right now uh is the do we have a time i think we only have a 6 minute right 5 minute hai Five minutes is there, right? So I think we should perform this question, okay? Because this part is remaining, so the exercise one point three will be get completed, okay? So let me erase all. In the question, it says write the converse, inverse, and contrapositive. What it says? Write the converse, inverse, contra. Uh, contra positive okay so how we are going to do this okay so for example in the very first first do you know the formula of converse inverse and contra positive is anybody know the formula of converse inverse and contra positive no sir oh it's a very no, simple sir. actually say if the statement symbol is like this if the statement symbolic form is like this and one more thing remember guys the symbolic form will always be like this okay so what will be the formula of converse so in converse all you have to do is just write like this so what i did here Can you guys tell me what I did here? I just interchange it, right now. 
everybody everybody is there na are you all guys getting na yes sir ha ah, so just reply na so what i did here i just interchange right and what is the formula yes. of inverse so inverse formula is negation p implies negation q q hmm and last but not the least what is the formula of contrapositive contra positive formula is negation q implies negation p so just look at the formula first because it's going to be very very simple so converse is q implies p and inverse is negation p implies negation q and contra positive is negation q implies negation p so the first question is can you guys see the first question here if x is less than y Yes. Here it is. So if x is less than, if x is less than y, will become p. Then and this then becomes implies x square is less than y square will become q. Okay. So they have said write the converse, inverse, and contrapositive. So just I said, what is the formula of converse? What is the formula of converse? Can you see it? Q implies p. Okay. Implies p. Now is the interesting part. Write this into a statement. Can you write this into a statement? What is q here? Q is x, x square less than y square. Square. X square less than y square. Mm. What is the what is the statement of this symbol? Then. then right and what if about the then. p ah i am telling you don't worry yaar see so if x square is less than y square then x less than y everybody got it how to write the statement of this symbolic form yes sir so now you guys can guess how we are going to write in inverse negation p implies negation q So can you tell me how you going to write the statement of this negation p implies negation q? Come on, come on, guess. It's very very simple. Come on, say it's negation p, right? And what is p? X is less than y, right? So what will be the negation of this x less than y? If x, x, x greater than equal greater to y, equal to y, then then x then square is greater than equal to y square. Greater than equal to y square. Right now, simple. And the last yes. part, the contra positive. Contra positive. What happened in the case of contra positive? Negation q implies negation p. Okay, so what happened in this case? Just Do it ulta. So q is x square less than y square, but it says negation. So how we are going to write if x square is greater than equal to y square, then x is greater than equal to y. Is it simple? Yes. Sir. So can you perform? Can you, can you can you take all the rest of the question as homework? So second, third, fourth, will you able to do it? If you face any problem, you can ask me on tomorrow lecture. Okay. okay. If anybody face any problem, yeah. see because tomorrow is our last lecture for logic. So if you guys face any problem in this entire chapter, so tomorrow will be the last chance. Okay. Everybody understood now? Yes. Yeah. So please do a lots of practice in logic chapter because tomorrow is your last chance. So. i think it's only less than 1 minute so i think in the very next lecture will be mine lecture so we'll start with the physics okay just a second i'll let me drink some water